Hello and welcome back to Richard Bulls of Just Get Strong and Invading. Today we're going to be going over the 4-4 kick enclosures with extensions, starting with problem one number 119 here. Uh, the question for White is, how should White invade this formation? White's move is the 3-3 three, three here, but White can also invade here if he wants. Moving on to problem number 122. Uh, begins with black defending this way. The question for white is how should white continue this? White's continuation is to Hana here, and if black blocks, white can Atari this stone. If black pulls back to Atari this, white can capture, and then black can Atari this. If white extends here, this would be disastrous for white because black will just fix. And now these stones are in trouble. Uh, because either white has to fix here or if white turns, then black can capture. Uh, let's see, so backing up a little bit. If instead of here, black goes here, white can go here, black can cut this off, and then for both players, this point is left for endgame. Either way, this is good for white. Moving on to problem number 125, it starts with black descending here. This is the strongest response that black can do for this invasion. So what is white's next move? White's move is to go here, but uh, doing the knight's move here is also correct. It's, it's good, but it's not as good. It's, it's, and we'll see that coming up. Um, so I'll just show you that right now, actually. If, if white goes here, black can go in here. Now, if white continues by going here, black will block here. And now black has the corner. If white draws back, then black will go here. And then white will live in the corner with this one. Um, it's it's small, so it's not as good again as the uh, the one that we're about to go through. So the more correct one is to go here. And this is problem number 128. Is after white goes here, black will block here. Um, and again, the the question is, what's the continuation from here? White should go here, but again, uh, the diagonal move is also Joseki. Uh, when white goes here, or sorry, if, if white does the, uh, if instead of these two moves, if white draws back to here, black will come here, turn, uh, go around here, white will defend, black will poke at this, and then do a monkey jumps here. Uh, and this actually kills the group. If instead of this honey here, if white pulls back to here, white is just able to live with this point. But again, it's a lot smaller than the, the correct variations. So white doesn't want to pull back here. White wants to go here or here. Problem number 131 starts with this move. If white does the diagonal here, black will do this move in response. And so after this, the problem or the question is, what should white do? White should draw back and fix. Uh, black will go here to seal it in. And then when white placed here, white's alive. If instead white connects here, when black goes here, this threatens to capture this stone, so white needs to fix. And then again, black will do the monkey jump. If instead of connecting here, white takes a 3-3 again, white can live, but now black can capture a stone in Sente. Because after this, white needs to a move of some sort. Moving on to 34, it deals with not the diagonal here, but this move. Black's response is to poke through here and then come around here. So the question for the problem is, how does white continue this? White's usual answer is to go here, and if black cuts, white will simply connect. Now black will take this move to take the corner, 
And then white will take this move to live. Instead of the Hani here, white can also play this move. And if black descends here, white can play here. Next, white is aiming at this cut. Backing up a ways, uh, we're going to go to a different response for black for the 3-3 invasion here. If instead of descending here, black plays this diagonal move, uh, problem number 137 is how does white respond to this diagonal move? This one, there is only one correct answer, and that is to do the knight's move here. Any other way, white dies. Now, this was, again, criticized in a previous problem that the knight's move wasn't as good, but in this case, it is. And then, just for uh, clarification, if white goes here, to peep at that, black will do that. And then if white does the diagonal, black will push through, and then Atari, and then play here. If white connects here, black will play here. If white plays here, then black will cut this stone off. Either way, black is much better off in this situation. So white plays the, the correct move of this diagonal, and then white or white plays this move, black plays the move on top. This is problem number 140. How should white continue? White's move to continue is go here. Next, white is aiming at this move to cut these stones off. So black will respond here. And then white lives with this move. If instead of this diagonal, if black goes here, then white can push, black will fix, white will cut, and these three zones are captured. Backtracking a little bit to problem number 138. It's just another variation of this. If instead of the diagonal here, if black plays this move, problem number 138 is how should white respond? White's move is to do the diagonal here. If black plays A, white plays here and makes life. The usual response is, you know, this sort of thing. Um, and then if black goes here, white goes here, and white's alive in the corner. If white does the usual normal Joseki move uh, that we like to play is this one, black plays here, and now white needs to play this and then play this and this actually goes to a co starting here so white could live guaranteed by playing the, the diagonal move but playing this way it goes to co moving on to problem number 141 starts with black defending the corner with this shape uh, and again the question is for white how does white invade this White's move is to poke at this shape, and if black defends here, then white will invade here. Let's see, and then the continuation is if black defends this way, white can honey here. If black defends, white will cut. Black doesn't want to defend this way, so black will pull back, Atari knee stones. White can cut, and then black can Atari. Moving on to problem number one, let's see, we're on 141, we're moving to 145. If instead of, again, sorry about the lag here. Or is it a different, it's a different one. It's this one, okay, sorry. It was a different diagram altogether. So, if instead of defending here, black does a foot sweep here, this move does not actually adequately protect the corner here. So the problem for number 145 is how does white invade? White invades at the 3-3 three, three here. And if black defends this way again, white can slide here, threatening to link up with this. So black needs to defend, and after white does this, white's alive in the corner. 
if instead of blocking here, if black plays here, then white Hani is over here and then links up with this stone. If black does this move, then white will still slide, threatening to link up, so black needs to defend. And then white can push here, black will block, and the white lives with seven here. We have a spectator. Hi, Bikas. So that was problem number 145. 148 is a different response instead of the foot sweep. Uh, black defends here. This formation is very tight, and so the problem for 148 is can white live? White's invasion point is again the 3-3. Three, three. And if black descends, white can try the slide, which gets blocked, push through, and then tries to live in the corner. This white will respond here. And then after black plays this move, it's, it's pretty obvious that white is actually dead in the corner. If instead of pushing here, white draws back, Black will then just play the monk. monk uh, Black will just play the monkey jump directly, and again, white is dead. So that's problem number one forty-eight. Moving on, moving back, I guess, to one forty-three, has to deal with this formation. Um, black plays here to secure this. Similar to before, but this is now tighter. Uh, the question for white is, how does white invade? White's correct move is to do the submarine invasion here, and if black defends the corner, then white can push and link up with his stones over here. The The direct invasion at the 3-3 is also possible. Um, and if black defends this way, that's exactly what white will do. So problem number 146 is if white does the direct invasion now. When black defends here, how does white respond? White's correct response is to peep at this move and then crawl with the next move. Uh, if black pushes through, white will block. Black will cut and take these stones. But now white lives in Sente because black needs to come back and capture these. If instead of crawling here, if white draws back, black can turn, and then white can go here. Now white is still alive, and he has more territory, but it ends in Gote. So thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we're going to be going over the 4-4 with Lark Knight enclosure. Uh, I, I believe it's both invading the 3-3 and the attachments over here. Uh, if you liked the video, please do like it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or feedback, please leave them below in the comment section. If you're new around here, please subscribe. I do videos like this every day. So thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.